Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to read for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks of November. Okay, I already did one for November. It wasn't great. <laughs> I know it bothered me a lot. Um, so I'm not sure what is going on. Let's see what comes up for this reading. What do we have for Libra for the first two weeks of November? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So you are not alone. You are. You have somebody beside you, okay, that is guiding you, protecting you. You are not alone. Somebody is right behind you, okay? You've got somebody right behind you. Choosing your path. All is possible. So you're going to be choosing a new path by the looks of things. Well, let me go ahead and read that. New vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose and when the and within this is your freedom do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others deter your path be daring cast aside conventions and restrictions dance laugh explore go beyond your predictable your predictable behavior say yes to life you support others in stepping in their freedom Choose life on your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. Sometimes to be free, the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your, fling your arms to the heavens in joy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. So it looks like your guides are guiding you to go down a new path. That's what it looks like to me. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Five of Wands reversed. King of Cups. Moon reversed. So this is a reality check. A release of fear of some sort. That moon reverses. Truth coming out. Truths being revealed. Um, this is the end of a battle. Or it could be war. I mean, it could be a full-on battle. But typically, I feel like the Five of Wands reverse is the end of a conflict. It's the end of a competition. Um, this is a release of fear. Something being seen. Something being shown. I don't know if you're dealing with the Pisces. Because we have Pisces here. Or Cancer. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Water sign. This is somebody that has good intentions. That is very feeling that is very loving, very generous, very kind, looking for real romance, looking for love, has some sort of love to offer. Um, now, the Hermit is a, is a card of knowledge, introspect, introspection, thinking, um, thinking about the next move, a time to think, needing time to think. This is chaos, okay? Um, unexpected change. Something, there, there could be some unexpected change here that um, throws you off guard, you know, it throws you off kilter and you have to think about things. Um, 
this is take a time out, take time to think and reflect on whatever is happening. I mean, this two of pentacles reversed is, you know, lacking balance, a need to be flexible, a need to adapt. But suddenly I feel like there's a sudden, yeah, there's a sudden change of some sort. For me, the hermit is time to withdraw. Okay. You may need some alone time. Um, I wonder if you're dealing with somebody that needed some alone time. This person needed to be alone to reflect. Now they've evolved or changed or something. Ooh, unexpected choice in love. So the lover's card, that is unexpected choice in love. This is love that comes in unexpectedly. And it feels like it shakes things up. Okay. It does. It feels like it's a shake-up of some sort. I feel like there's, yeah, this is a card of choices, a card of uh, choosing. You know, it's like, why why now? Why now? This is, why are you bringing this to me now? So I think there is going to be an unexpected choice. Um, maybe an unexpected chance for a reunion. Because this is like two people coming together. It's. I feel like it's very sudden. Uh, I could be dealing with a Gemini. Like I said, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you have Pisces and Cancer a couple times. You also have Virgo. Um, this is enlightenment. Somebody has become enlightened. They have seen the light, perhaps. Um, this is like uh, two people being brought together that are meant to be together. It's the end of a fight. It's the end of a battle. So I don't know how that resonates with you. Um... This is like relief. Hmm. Knight of Cups reversed. So the Knight of Cups reversed is... If it's a womanizer, or heartbreaker, somebody that uh, doesn't follow through in the love arena. Um, ah, jeez, I'm crow with that moon card. There's, uh, there's all is not as it seems. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. Going to be, somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. I feel like there's been some sort of rejection in the past or something like that. Now, the Knight of Cups in reverse can be a con man, so you want to be really careful, okay? This is somebody that, you know, um, lies, they run when the going gets rough. This is somebody that sweeps problems under the rug. Um, unpredictable. There's something unpredictable. You can't predict what this person is ever going to do ne next. Um... There's, it's probably going to be an emotional time as well with the moon reverse and the knight of cups reverse. It's going to be emotional. So be prepared. These next two weeks are going to be emotional. Um, now they're even, they're, they're either, this could be the end of a fight or it could be a fight with that five of wands. So it could definitely go either way. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is coming forward. They have were closed off emotionally, but now they're coming forward. They're coming forward. They're going to be expressing their feelings. This person has been hiding their feelings, not able to express their feelings. Now they're going to be. Now they're going to be expressing their feelings. Now, the Queen of Swords reverse. This is like uh, bitterness. Lonely, hard to love. You, you know, I don't know if that's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but the Queen of Swords in reverse is an individual that is definitely hard to deal with. Um, could be bitter. Um, not interested. Not interested at all in this romance. Not interested at all in this cavalier, whoever this person is. So this is somebody that's not interested. It may be you. You may not be interested in this 
uh, I don't know what it is. It feels like it's a showmance, and I don't know where it, showmance even comes from. Um, but there is an unexpected choice in love here, whether it's for you or somebody that you uh, live with or something like that. Um, now that Queen of Queen of Swords in reversed is unwilling, unwilling to look at things from a new perspective, and that certainly could be you. Okay, you you may be uh, not wanting to consider, not wanting, and you may not want to consider. You probably may not. That's what it looks like. I don't want to consider this. You know, if you are the masculine watching this, this could be your energy, but it could be the person that. You know, somebody maybe somebody wants a relationship. It looks like to me that feels like this person has hidden some things. Now they're coming forward with the truth, and they maybe they want a reconciliation or something. And you know, you may think this person is a bitch. You know, and if it's a man, it's like this is a cavalier. It's not somebody who's going to follow through with anything. Um, so yeah, now there's an unexpected choice here with that lover's card, and this is like a potential soulmate. This is kindred spirits. It's a major choice to, you know, oh, perhaps heal a love connection, okay? I feel like there's some sort of uh, commitment, falling in love, coming together with somebody um, that is looking for a relationship. But there's a, a feeling of uh, don't come near me. I don't, I don't uh, trust you, that kind of thing. Uh, paranoid you may be paranoid you may be fearful of of letting this person in this person may be wanting to talk you know they want to um, peace perhaps you know it's a peace offer offering so I don't know who this person is but it doesn't have to be a lover it could be anybody else somebody you've been in conflict with this and it could be anybody the conflict is coming to an end Okay, it's coming to an end. There's going. It's almost like there's a peace offers offering or a reconciliation or something. I think it's surprise. I think it's. I do. I think it's. It's very much a surprise. There's a need to be flexible to the situation. Um, you're probably going to be thinking a lot with that hermit card, and I think whoever is coming in has been thinking about it. It's been planned. They've been planning it, and now they're like making their move. Um, Yes, this is a yes. This is this is a um, as above, so below. This is something that you asked for, something that you manifested, or somebody else manifested. This is communication. This is awakening. It's a wake up call of some sort. This is a golden opportunity for success. Somebody is taking action. It's like they're going to do something. And it feels like they've thought about it. They've planned it. You know, they've planned their next move. They're about to take action. Definitely. It's like I'm, I'm going to do whatever I can have to do. Somebody's going to do whatever they have to do to bring success. For lot, some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini. Okay, we have Gemini here, Gemini here. We also have, I already said it, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, it's like you manifested them or somebody manifested them. Um, we have somebody here that is very, very determined. They are determined. They're determined to uh, commit, you know, being a commitment or something like that. They're determined to show their feelings or they're determined to... Uh, what the hell are they determined to do? It's like fall in love. This is about love. It is. It is definitely about love. Are they determined to reunite? You know? What the hell is this? That magician is very, very determined. can't restrain no restraint can't restrain themselves somebody can't restrain themselves can't master their emotions now next to the queen of swords reversed i feel like i feel like there's some sort of um 
loss of power. You know, somebody has lost their power over another person and there could be some illness. So it's almost like this person wants to come in to take care of another because this is like a caregiver. This person wants to come in to take care of another person, you know. Um, we have a very wise individual who has grown wise through isolation. This person has been learning, observing, uh, growing uh, during a period of well, restriction, you know, or isolation or taking a break or whatever. Now it's like now they see, now they know what they want. Now they absolutely know what they want. And they are coming out of hiding. It's like they've been hiding their feelings. Now they're going to be expressing their feelings. They're, and this is like weak, weak, um, vulnerable. You may be feeling vulnerable. You may be feeling fearful. And that, maybe that's why the Queen of Swords is in reverse. Maybe maybe you don't trust. Maybe you don't trust this person. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're going to be in your emotions this week. Because somebody's going to be communicating. You know, and it may be leaving you feeling uneasy. You may be feeling uneasy. You may be feeling like, uh, you know, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this again. Or what? you don't want to do this you know that's what it feels like to me um that moon card reversed is truth being revealed a reality check and there's no trust there's no trust here i feel like you there's this is somebody that you don't trust You know, it feels like, I mean, if you're a man watching this, this is a bitch. If you're a woman watching this, this is a, this is somebody that didn't follow through. This is somebody that, you know, swept you off your feet and, and dumped you, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so it's interesting. Anyway, that lover's card is an unexpected choice in love, healing a love connection, perfect union, you know, kindred spirits coming together. It's meant to be. I feel like this is a very masculine energy. We have a masculine energy that is, you know, taking action, definitely has thought about it. And wants to uh, express, wants to uh, come back. And I say come back because of the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So I don't, I don't know how that resonates for you. Um, if you are the masculine watching this, you may be going back with somebody. I don't know. We may have a woman that wants to come back with you that's a bitch. I don't know. We definitely have somebody here that... Uh, doesn't trust that's for damn sure there's been a lack of respect for others somebody has lacked respect you know and about but I think there's been some sort of um, evolving somebody has evolved through this time of separation per se But that said, choosing your path, leaving things behind that don't serve you. And that's a choice and there's consequences. So somebody is going to have to make a choice. I do feel like there's going to be some upheaval. With that two of pentacles reverse, that's kind of like chaos, upheaval, and needing to think about uh, what you want to do. So however that, what, what path you want to go down now, what path you want to go down now. So there is going to be some sort of uh, upheaval. There's something that is unseen that is going to be revealed. Hmm. <laughs>
Knight of Swords. Actually, this is the Page of Swords. I do it every time. It's the Page of Swords. So this is a message. It's a message that you may not want to hear. It's a conflict. It's a conflicting message, you know, that you don't want to hear that surprises you. May, 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 uh off guard, catch you off guard. You may be caught off guard by somebody. It's a message you don't want to hear. I wonder if it has something to do with a father. Now this is an old man. Um, doesn't have to be a father. Um, but you are going to be receiving a message and it may even make you angry. It may make you angry. You see the fist? So you may get angry. Um, and whoever is delivering the message, it may be a harsh message. You may be receiving a harsh message from somebody that, you know, doesn't make you happy. I do believe you're going to receive a message that doesn't make you happy. Um, You're definitely going to need time alone to think about what your next steps are. Something is going to happen that throws you off balance. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo or a stepmother. Um... There is some sort of wickedness here, and I don't know if it's you or whatever. We have this person that is very shallow, very, very controlling, very, very greedy. Okay, so this person is uh, hiding something, and it may be revealed. It may be revealed during this time. It could piss you off. I don't know what that is, but it could really piss you off. Could cause a fight. You know, that could be the beginning of a fight. So this could, we could go all day and I could change this ten times. Um, I do feel as though this week you are going to be very emotional. I think you're going to be experiencing some changes that you did not expect. I feel like you're going to be needing to think about whatever has happened. I feel like there is somebody uh, coming around that you did not expect. Um, I also feel like uh, there's a new union here, a new a union that is, that's what I mean. There's a new union that is uh, unexpected, unexpected choice in love. Um, there's two people coming together that are meant to be together. Um, but when there's a choice, there means there's a choice between two. Okay, so some there's going to be a loss. Okay. You can't have both because if there's a choice, there's a choice between two options and that is a choice. So somebody is going to be not happy with the outcome, okay? Because <sighs> you can't have both. You can't have both. So there is there is going to be a choice, a choice between two. Um, somehow you are involved. I don't think that you are going to be happy with the choice, <laughs> whatever that means. I don't think you're going to be happy with it. Or you're going to be the chosen one and you're going to be extremely happy. Um, although I don't feel like you're going to be happy. I feel like it's somebody in your surroundings. I, th I don't feel like it's you. I think it's somebody coming together that is in your surroundings and it's going to piss you off because it's not what you wanted. I also see illness here with that strength card reverse. Somebody is sick. Somebody is sick. And uh, maybe that's the news that you receive that somebody is sick. We also have a very controlling individual here who likes to control others. And maybe that's why you don't want this person around. This person is very, very controlling. Anyhow, Libra, 
I feel as though you're going to be making a choice this week. <laughs> you are. Okay, we got there. We're choosing your path. This is a choice. This is a choice. I think this is out of your control. Something happens out of your control, which puts you in a position as to where you want to go next or what your next options are. And you're going to be thinking about what your next options are. It's unexpected conflict. Get prepared. Um, hmm. Let me get one more card. Nine of Cups reverse. You know, somebody could be getting into a new relationship and you don't, you're not happy about it. Somebody, it's like somebody's wish, you know, somebody has been wishing they manifested something and it was against your wishes. It's not what you wanted. I know that's what this is and that's weird. I feel like, uh, You're going to be really dissatisfied by a circumstance. You're not going to be happy. This is not what you wanted. It's what somebody else wanted. Good luck. 